guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing, uh, not playing. I'm just going to show you the PC opener as Germany. If you're new to the game, I'm going to doing this on regular. This opener is best for veteran, it's the best opener I feel like if you're going veteran, but regular, most of you guys I feel like playing on regular difficulty, maybe even recruit. So I'll do it on this. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to show you the what to choose to pick and what research to do in the early game and what you should focus on always to choose Rhineland in the beginning this gives you 120 political power and it gives you 5 arm experience world tension isn't very important because you will have to go down this sometime anyway um, this is the basic opener uh, I don't recommend you to uh, use this if you're trying out new tactics or strategies or stuff it's uh, basically just uh, uh, what do you what with a standard thing and you should really try experimenting with different stuff um, The fourth is very you can do almost whatever you want with it even support Going do this or but I like the artillery, but I don't need the artillery. I, I could uh, no mm, Yeah, let's do this uh, artillery uh, free stuff. So what do I want here? Uh, the first thing I should do with this strategy, I like to get my rubber supply because in this strategy involves being ca cautious in the beginning. There is strategies where you attack in Netherlands in the early game to get the, the rubber supplies in uh, here, but I think but that's very risky, and especially if you're new, you should d don't do that and stay be more cautious. And that's what I'm going to show off now. This unit is the one I'm going to train. And do I want to train you? Maybe I want you. Yeah, yeah. This is good. This is good division. Uh, where's Berlin here? Berlin. Uh, but yeah, things I want to build. I no, I don't think I'm going to do that. How much? How many civilians? I have 60, 16 civilian factories, and that uh, that's a bad number. I would really like a couple more. Uh, we're going to get more soon, but not exactly now. You see 15 and 1. This one is sad. I want to have at least 3 or 4 more so it can uh, be at least valuable. Because one factory you're working on something is not very much. Um, in here you see, yeah, basic equipment. Of course, we're filling this out. One row of you, three of you, three of you, and the rest here. No, we're go actually going to pull back a couple because I like the close air support. Tactical bombers, let's skip on that. Add here more. Because we don't want tactical, and here, I like. Uh, you see, it's so. F we're almost done with most of these, so I'm just going to put them all on one. And when we're finished, I'm going to do this. So let's just max on this. Oh, I only had one. Okay, let's start it. Um, these fours. No, we're going to take it last. Um, these guys here usually just put them in a, on a on one general. These guys on another. You take no, they can actually be on the same one. Why not? Um, you four go here. Rest of you can. What I want to do actually? Yeah, let's do like this. Um, the rest of you. What do I actually want to do with you? This should be twenty six divisions. Twenty six, yeah. Um. We could, uh, we could, uh, I was thinking maybe doing an invasion early, but I said I wanted to do a cautious one this time, so we're not going to do that, even though that's my normal strat go to strategy from now on after I tried it a couple times, because it's the best. So I'm just actually going to go here for now. Oh, you're all done. Good. Let's go the submarine build. That's usually the best build if you're uh, not very good at the game. Just going submarines and just build, uh, but using the submarines. Yeah, this is my sub fleet then. here 
and you merge into the subs and you merge into the Kirk's Marine, okay? And the subs go into the subs. Okay, that's the standard. That's cause uh, you can just focus on raiding other people's convoys and not actually worry about building a fleet and me and uh, cause that's quite difficult actually to uh, have control over your fleet, your air force, and your infantry at the same time. So we're going to uh, mush it down into <laughs> no, but we are going to remove the fleet so we don't have to worry about that uh, if you're quite new and just worry about the airplanes and the infantry because that's uh, mo the most important okay and the Rhine Rhineland is down here and now we have a lot of choices and yeah we're not going to do this because we're not going to focus on our navy if you want to, to focus on your navy you should go that one now because that one's super good and you want to dock your early but don't go this one this one is not very good right now right now uh, it's going to be good uh, soon so if you like navy go this now otherwise you should probably go down the uh, army innovations yeah because and that's what i'm going to do and that's what i recommend for the new guys so what do i want here probably yeah i'm in a um, in a mine where i'm new and i'm not it's simple it's the most simple thing to do here would i've i've seen i've actually tried a strategy where i went silent workhorse into a silent workhorse and just had two of these two f with germany to be able to fill out the rest of these guys super quickly and that's uh, a cool strategy but not for now um we probably want the, where is it yeah this one here so these factories can be dealt quickly and we can start working on this these guys if you don't want this one you should probably go down you should you could uh, no not save up for v this one yet not yet at least what was that that happened i'm not sure i don't really care to read those anymore so yeah i mean what's actually going to focus on this game i feel feel like it's good if if you're quite new to focus on infantry equipment and artillery and try to max out those those uh, the first now we're going to war industry so we have both of them so we can maximize our construction speed uh, just i would do a different strategy but this is for for new guys as playing as germany because germany is probably the most fun country to play as if you're new because we're so uh, good we're super good and in this point we should probably add a couple more one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good. And we can add two more here. No, three more, so it's five. Uh, but the thing is, uh, when you're new, the hardest thing is logistics. You have to, it's hard to know what, uh, how the logistics tabs work if you don't, it, it, not, it's not hard to know, but, well, yeah. How many can I send here? You should always send volunteers. Uh, two, I can only send two. So let's deploy guys here. No, what? Why did I deploy? I wanted to send tanks anyways. Send these two. Whoops. I deployed them, uh, but I didn't need to. Oh, no. Wait, what? No commander. Yeah, it's this guy. And just put them here. Yeah, I can actually do like this. Like that. For now. For now. I'm probably going to switch it up later. And yeah, so what I'm going to try to focus on now in the beginning is making sure our logistics is uh, good, a good in a good form. So we're going to focus on making, not focus on our, our airplane, because the airplane's logistics is not very important early game. It's the infantry equipment and tower artillery when you change out your templates. So now I got this army innovations or you got it got this one uh if you went army innovations it could, would be an okay idea to go down to the ussr or if you go down here you should probably go army innovation now but i think it's i want to open up this part i want to at least soon be able to do this so i'm going to go down the left side and you, you, that's probably the best case right now because the west wall you want to get that you want to get all of these now uh, soon and you sometime I want to get ore storage in between this. I'm going to try at least. I'm going to deploy as much as I can. Yeah, this, these are done. Um, the artillery page is done for now. Anti-air is anti-tank. And you should use anti-air like it's anti-tank in, in this stage of the game. 
Cause uh, and now we can do this one, cause it's okay at least. I've grown to like it more and more. Uh, you should go concentrate in uh, industry in this case right now. Maybe no, never go the other one if you don't know what you're doing, cause this one is. Uh, it's a different strategy that's more that's harder to use, I think, and I don't think it's pay it if. It's hard for it to pay off if, you, if you're not used to the tactic. So yeah. But yeah, it's not very important. If you want to do it, you can always do it. Okay, now we can choose another one. We should probably save up for Fearist in this case, so we can get... we Because we want to get down... Uh, where is it? Yeah, the, the Mobile Warfare Doctrine as quickly as possible. So we're going to save up to 250 just to get the free extra percent on here. It's so worth when you, especially when you're German, you get two per day. So yeah, you, I could have gotten three per day, but I mean, I it's mo more important to get the doctrine. Uh, I mean, the text. Because if you don't, if you don't do uh, these, this tree, you will never be competitive in any way. Because the tree, tree is very, very important. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, and then we're going to go down here, here. We're going to go down. Where? What's this? Wait. What? What? Effect. Uh, better remove. What? I don't want to remove it. Hmm. That's a weird one. I mean, it's it says it improves it, so it probably does. But I don't see how it improves. So it looks the same to me, like a bitter loser. Oh no, it doesn't. It is better than bitter loser. Huh? Shit. Didn't know that. Cool. Now we got the autobahn and the leadership purge. Yeah, that's yeah, that's about time. Uh, we cannot go the Orslut, and it's yeah, uh, the Orslut comes when you're a, b a bit under one million, so we can we don't have to worry about that for a bit. We can go two 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 more techs, I think, before that it's time for that. We should probably deploy these though, ju just in case. You see, this automatically joins this line, so that's cool. Oh, two, I was a bit too late on that. I could have saved, uh, gotten a bit more of this. Okay, let's uh, do our templates. This is okay for Germany to begin with. It's not good, but it's okay. You want to add a recon company, of course, in the early. And we want to add an artillery. That's what you want to do now. We're going to add more, but you don't. In if you're in the same, done step by step what I've done, you should probably. Uh, it should look like this. And you say, uh, why aren't you training? Oh shit! I have having control here. Whoops! I have so forgotten. Well, it's been a while since I played this game. Okay, let's uh, let's split up actually. No, no, no. How long till I win? No, I don't really care. Okay. So you want you see this this you are behind in like everything. You can't go go around training your divisions if you're so behind. Not only that, it doesn't give you that much to train. It gives you arm experience, yes, and it trains the unit, but it's so slow for the efficient. I mean, you lose so much weapons, and I think weapons are much more important. I want to do like this at least for my aircraft, because otherwise I don't will get I don't get any airplanes. So and that's. And yeah, shit. Oh, this I need to build more. In this case, I should probably build refineries. This front is going to be open. It's going to be the center of everything later. So that's why I build all the refineries there. Not only that, it's just out of no shit. It's actually not. Maybe I should have built them um, uh, here in eastern uh, Germany. I've actually thought the Czechoslovakian board this airfield would go down here too but pro shit I've not realized so I've when I build oil refiners here they're actually going to be targeted by France and UK's planes hmm. bad but I don't really care it's not a big deal for now uh, we're going to start building this let's do two and let's do on Berlin and we're not going to add them to that because I'm going to have them in another army later how long? Yeah, I should probably do Oslerch now. How m look, 1.65. Yeah, I should pro I I should be able to do Oslerch now. Why am I not being able to do this? I should be able to do this now. Cuz I'm under 1 million. 
what's this? Well, let's do another one because this one is not bad. But I really think I should be able to do Warslutch. Okay. Okay, we have. Yeah, we have Madrid this early. Good. But not early, it's not very early actually. But still. Let's finish them. We can't really win from this. When we lose Madrid, we can't win. The only way for them to win in the beginning, even, is if they are very, very lucky. And that's quite sad. I want them to be more harder to crush. Go with industrial guy. So, because we're all throughout the game, you're always going to focus uh, for the most on your industry, because industry is so important, and much more than electronics and anything else. So, why not just uh, maximize then the amount of uh, minimize the amount of time it takes for you to research push down this airfield keep pushing down while you have nothing none of this organization yeah you see this is i'm go just going to cut them off move down here destroy the last guys here and we're done we don't have enough guys to hold me now finish him it's quite good i only have new tanks because the, the combat width isn't Oh, um, this isn't so much that you can't. You can only always use two of them on, in the same battle, and that that's super good. Come on, let's go down here and push, push them out here, push them away. Yeah, this went good. This river, this civil war went good for us. Not so good for the republics. But it's not often we do. It when it goes well for them, and that's sad. I really want them to be more balanced. We, sh we should do. I, just for variety, I think that they should do it so it's m more often than not the Republicans win. Because I'm doing. I, we, we're playing these games because it's fun where we're with where we're two scenarios. But I want another outcome than the real life one. The only way to do that is if they have. If other things happen, not, yeah, now we can do the Auslutsch. So maybe it's down to 800k, but I always thought it was down to 900. 900, 920, 930, something like that, I thought. It's been a while since I've played, I'll, I'll, I say that a lot. But yeah, I mean, hmm. What's our equipment? Yeah, we should do absolutely do our second one of these. Now. Yeah, we should construct more of those. I, we have not, we have, we have artillery. Do artillery because same thing where we always want to focus artillery throughout the game not in the early game though don't focus too heavily on artillery in the early game because you don't need to focus it until 1940 because 1940 you can research these three actually even though we're so in advance because we're not see if i do it now it takes 600 days and that's not a lot for being like five years in advance and yeah now I can do this. Construction speed. I want more civilian factories now, actually. And we're going to put them here. Because that's a safe spot for now. I mean, like, all of this is actually safe. Uh, except the coastal things. I'm never doing on the coastal things as Germany. Because the uh, UK does so many naval invasions. It's not even funny. Um, what's actually needed right now? I think... Anti-tank, no, not anti-tank yet. No, and uh, not until um, in four years, when the enemy gets uh, the third light, it's is it actually needed? Though I recommend doing it a lot earlier, just in case. Fill hospitals, yes, we're going to add that to our template very very soon. Oh shit, that we can do more template things. Do the infantry first, because we have the most guys you're going to use. Add the l this, and we're going to add more infantry. As German, I usually go for a very, very, very big unit, uh, and because uh, why I do that is so I can throughout the you see how much combat with the width I have. Most players would say it's this is too big already, but I'm going to make it a lot bigger. Why? Uh, that's because I like to cut on it. So whenever I have low uh, infantry equipment, I cut one of these. When I have low artillery, I cut one of these, and I continue like that until I have a very very small division. And you get uh, and you you see I'm quite far behind now. But if I and if I cut one of these uh, in the war time, I could get back all of that that's behind right now, almost. 
because I'm going to have hundreds of divisions in when that happens. Nice. Good thing we got them. Now we're going to add you, because we're going to start m focusing on these guys. Oh, uh, I want this one very much. Yeah, let's, let's demand the Sudan land. That probably means I should do you on here, go down to you. Go back to you. Change this out here. Except for you. Yeah. And y none of you should actually be on order now, cause I the tanks. Not cause I I want to combine these two with Irvin Rommel into a super uh, force 24 stack that can that I usually do this so we can quickly circle around the Belgian. And yeah, end of a Spanish Civil War, good thing. Now we get our these guys back. And we can actually do more stuff. So let's add one here and let's add anti-air. No, we're not going to add anti-air here. How much piercing does it have? I'm going to check here. 8.6 and how much, much does it have here? 8.6. Yeah, let's add it here. And we have to construct it then, yeah. Forgot. Move it to the top. I said. I thought I said. When you have added one here, no, you're not going to add it for a while. Okay. No. Oh. Did wrong. Okay, I forgot. Um, what did I do? Oh shit. Yeah, this, I'm going to add an artillery here. And most people actually forget that uh, point that you, the uh, logistics tab is so important. And in the late game, if you start with a very, very small division, you can't really cut on every, anything just to get more equipment. And that's why this tactic works. Uh, so very, very, very good. And you should actually try it out, if especially if you're new to the game. I'm going to research this now. Uh, so I really recommend that. Most people say it's a bad strategy. I can understand them. It's not the best strategy, maybe, but it works. It works works very, very, very well, especially if you're uh, when you uh, just doing a simple, normal strategy where you don't. Just going to move these divisions out of here. Yeah, like this. So I'm got just I'm going to end it soon, but not right now, cause I want to show you the last thing what you want to do. It's these four commanders that's very important. The rest of it you can probably solve yourself. Going to go this. I, whoa! I have, I have not gone this yet. Well, it's okay. I should have probably gone it before these two, but I just want to show everything. Come on, I just accept it. Nice, we got it. Boys, we got it. I want this one very... I want I want this one. But it's so much here I also... But I'm going to go industrial for two. Because it's important. Because yeah, if I claim this land, it's two cities, so something I get, not important. What's important is that I finish off Yugoslavia, and, or Italy finish off Yugoslavia, totally, not just this part, because it doesn't change anything. Yugoslavia is uh, one, si one border you don't want to have, you want to finish it quickly, so you don't have to worry about it. The faster, the better. Now we can add the units here. Three tanks, four SS divisions. These are going to be oh shit! Why do I have so many here? Well, it's okay. I us it's a, I usually send divisions here later on, but why not have them there now? So yeah, this is probably the uh, as far as I go for opener one and a half year. That's an opener, I'd say. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video or you have any questions about uh, German uh, early game, ask them down below. 
I'll try to answer them. And yeah, tell me, yeah, tell me other things you have to wonder about the game, and I'll see you next time.